So then the right coming forward and, and, and some of, just some of the most hateful people you will ever hear on radio or watch on television. They're calling Bubba, you know, Jussie Smollett. You know, it's a chance for some people on the right to go after a black man. I mean, that's really what we're calling this here. Bubba Wallace did absolutely nothing wrong. I say that again. Bubba Wallace did nothing wrong. So Wallace did an interview on Fox News, and uh, this was on Friday, uh, after NASCAR released a picture of the noose. And that's, by the way, that's what it is, folks. It's a noose. I want you to listen to Bubba Wallace on Fox News. Have a listen to this. It wasn't directed towards me or my family, um, but somebody still knows how to tie a noose. And, and, and whether they did it as a bad joke or not, who knows. But it was good for the public to see. Um, it still won't change most or some people's mind of me, me being a hoax, but it is what it is. Well, I feel for Bubba Wallace. I really do. I feel sorry for him because he did absolutely nothing wrong here. And you could hear it in his voice how frustrated he is. There are idiots out there, some in the media, that are saying Bubba Wallace did this as a hoax, that they think that uh, conspiracy theories, that he was responsible for this, uh, that he wanted the PR. I mean, it, to me, it is just it is so disgusting to me, and it makes absolutely no sense. You know, lost in the shuffle of the whole thing also, going, you know, the investigation and you know, maybe maybe people know this, maybe they don't. NASCAR and the FBI did an investigation, and they found 11 total ropes that were used to pull garages down. So there were other ropes, but only one of them was a noose, and that was the one that was on Bubba Wallace's garage. You know, that's something else. You know, there are a lot of people on the right that are saying, oh, this is in every garage. It wasn't a noose. It was a norm. It's in every garage. You know, they'll come up with any lie to fit their racist narrative, to go after someone who's an African-American. The same narrative that I hear that Barack Obama wasn't born in this country, that he was born in Kenya. We heard that for years, and Donald Trump was the poster child for that. And then all of a sudden, when Barack Obama shows his birth certificate, oops, okay, just goes away. I mean, I'm just so sick of some of these people. I well, really am. I think Bubba Wallace said it best in that little clip that we played, in that there's nothing he knows, that there's nothing that he can do to satisfy the skeptics. People are going to believe what they want to believe uh, about this whole incident. And maybe the noose wasn't placed there directly targeting him. You know, if it was there since October, it was there since October. Fine, whatever. But it was a noose. And as you've said before, NASCAR came to him and said, hey, look, we have a hate crime on our hands. And so he believed him. I guess that might be the only thing he's guilty of is that he believed NASCAR when they told him that there was a hate crime. And then, yeah, and then for you Fox News worshipers or you worshipers of, of Tucker, Tucker Carlson, Tucker Carlson, who goes on his television show last week and utters the disgusting words that he believed that uh, this driver, Bubba Wallace, uh, would have been happy if it actually was a hate crime. He insinuated that when Bubba Wallace learned the news from the FBI that this was not a hate crime, that Bubba Wallace was somehow disappointed. That's what Tucker Carlson said on Fox News. He made that statement, and it is so idiotic, and it is so wrong, and it is so disgusting. And by the way, can't we just sit here for a moment and say, you know what? Last week on Monday when they showed solidarity between the NASCAR drivers and Bubba Wallace, when they saw them hugging each other, when they saw them you know, just having Bubba Wallace's back, wasn't that a good moment for NASCAR? Wasn't it a good moment? I thought it was a good moment. I thought it was nice, even though this was not a hate crime, according to the FBI. And I believe everything the FBI has said in this case. It certainly was a noose. So maybe if we could see some good things going down the road, maybe we won't see any nooses in garages down the road. Maybe some idiot will think twice before he decides to do that and pull a prank, because it appears to me that's exactly what it was. This isn't some random thing where somebody made a noose. This isn't something random. Somebody pulled a prank. It was a joke. Obviously, it wasn't directed at Bubba Wallace, but so what? It's still wrong. It doesn't make any sense. And now we have this speedway. And tell us a little bit about this, Stein, that uh, attempted to sell the actual Bubba Wallace rope, the rope that was found no. in the uh, Bubba Wallace garage. Can you tell me? Well, what I don't happened? know if it was the actual rope. Um, it's kind of like when we had Vito from The Sopranos on. Uh, the actor who played DeVito, where he started selling pool cues. It wasn't the actual pool cue. But that it was, was a facsimile. <laughs> that yeah. was ramped up DeVito's, you know what. Uh, no, but, but this is the, the North Carolina 
Speedway. They've now lost some sponsorship because of uh, what they were doing. I guess a, a joke that that was in very poor taste. Um, uh, the racetrack owner uh, had posted on Facebook Marketplace, quote unquote, Bubba Rope. And he wrote with the words, buy your Bubba Rope today, nine ninety nine each. They come with a lifetime warranty and work great. So I'm not sure if it's just a piece of rope and it was just just a gag, just a, a way of, of, of uh, you know, making fun of this whole thing. Um, I'm not sure what the rope did. Uh, if, or if the implication is, is that you're supposed to use you're it on people, that, I'm not if sure. If you're running that racetrack, what is going through your mind when you're trying to come up with some sort of promo and get maybe some publicity? What is going through your mind that you think that this might actually be a good idea? Well, I, what would you buy at nine ninety nine? You buy what are you buying a, a noose, and it's called Bubba Rope. I don't. I'm not. I guess I'm not sure. I mean, like you said, if it was the actual noose, that might have some value. You know, that's a collector's item. To some racist you NASCAR might, fan, yeah. You might want to buy that. That you know, that could be worth a lot of money. Uh, but I guess uh, apparently this was like a piece of rope for nine ninety nine. I'm not just sure. So, just so disgusting. Well, I'm glad that they lost some sponsors. Should we be shocked that some white people in North Carolina tried to uh, make a joke involving a noose? Should that shock anybody? The Klan capital of the country? North Carolina, what a shock. Carolina Sprint Tour, after much discussion with our officials, a few drivers and teams, we have made the decision to withdraw our events from 311 Speedway for the remainder of the 2020 season. We do not condone or support the comments and posts that have been made this past week. Good. I'm glad they're being punished for this. And here's my question to you listeners, and we'll take some calls on the other side of the break here. Do you still think that this was a hoax? Do you still think that this noose that was found in Bubba Wallace's garage, it's Bubba Wallace's fault, that Bubba Wallace is responsible, that he did something wrong? Do you compare Bubba Wallace to Jesse Smollett like some right-wing radicals are doing? Or do you take my side? Do you take my side of the story? which is Bubba Wallace did absolutely nothing wrong. You could make the argument that NASCAR maybe jumped the gun a little bit. Maybe they acted a little too swiftly. But this is not a bad thing for NASCAR. It's a good thing for NASCAR because they exposed something. Whether it wasn't a, Even if it wasn't a hate crime, which the FBI says it wasn't a hate crime, isn't this a good thing for NASCAR? So which, which side of the fence are you on here? Because I've talked to a lot of people that have a lot of anger towards this driver, Bubba Wallace, and for the life of me, I really don't understand why, to this day, that people are attacking this man for doing absolutely nothing wrong. He didn't contact the FBI. He was told by the president of NASCAR that he was the victim of a hate crime. So where is the blame here? Why should the blame be on Bubba Wallace? Why should the blame be on his staff? They didn't do anything wrong. Well, some people think that Bubba Wallace ran with the story based on the little bit of information that he had. And ran with it for the sake of publicity. I think that is outrageous and ridiculous, and it's a very serious claim. I don't think Bubba Wallace wanted this to happen. In fact, I'm sure of it.